guys what is up my name is matrix and welcome back to another video on my channel and today guys we're on the hypercloud prison i'm sure you guys have heard of this um a lot of youtubers um have a series like this and i guess i'll start to have one uh where it's just kind of like a little bit of a story time or anything that i want to talk to you guys about i'll just come on here play a little bit of prison mine and we'll see if we can rank up while we do so but uh my story today guys as we go to warp a oh, that's z i wish we had z geez we're gonna go ahead and go to warp a use our kit once and uh i'm just gonna start talking um i'm gonna talk about what i want to do when i get older and uh what like why i'm doing youtube now and anything like that and let's go ahead and just get started um one thing I want to do when I'm older, guys, what I plan on having my job is I want to go in the military. I want to, uh, my ultimate goal is to be Navy SEAL. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fit guy. Like, I, I, I do a lot of workouts and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a very fit kid, and I'm highly athletic, if you ask me, or I think I am. Um, I play a bunch of sports, basketball, baseball, football, all that stuff. But, uh, my ultimate goal is to be Navy SEAL. And to achieve that goal, you have to, <laughs> you have to put in a lot of work. And I like plan on putting in that effort. Uh, I have a workout plan I'm gonna do and everything, but that's like my what I want to do. If there's anything that I could wish for in life, it's to become the United States Navy SEAL. So that's what I want to do when I get older. There's I, there's like a whole bunch of training you have to go through. Uh, I guess I can talk about it uh, first. You guys have to do a PST, which is a physical screening test. Uh, you go to like your nearest recruiter or whatever, and they can just kind of give this screening test to you and i don't have everything pulled up but what you're supposed to do but i'm pretty sure i have it memorized i'm not sure i had to do a research project on what i wanted to do when i was older and i just did this um you have to run like what is it like f i have no idea <laughs> i don't know it off the top of my head but you have to run like uh i think it's five miles in 32 minutes or something i don't know it's something ridiculous and you have to do as many push-ups as possible with a minimum of 50 in one minute or two minutes, I think. Uh, as many sit-ups as, sit as possible with, like, a minimum of 70 in a minute or something. I'm not really sure. It's... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But then you have to do a bunch of pull-ups, and the minimum for that's at least, like, 10, I believe. But um, to even get into, like, the next part of training, you have, to, you have to achieve, like, the advanced portion of all these tests, which I've been trying to do this at my house. I've been doing these tests for a while, just preparing myself trying to get my mind at like a really good mental state to endure a whole bunch of pain which is hard to do but believe it or not uh but yeah the next part of training that you get that you would like go to it's called butts and it's the world's hardest like military training known to man um it's six months like of straight hell like i'm not gonna lie it's six months of straight hell they put you through anything and everything and if you do not work as like a team and as a unit in that training you're screwed because you cannot get through that training just be like doing everything by yourself think that you own the place and it's oh man i hate when this happens with my pickaxe there we go but you cannot get through that training just thinking that like you're strong enough to do it by yourself because you're not you need your your brothers there your comrades you need everything and anything possible to get through that training because it is insanely hard and most like 200 people can start off doing that and i guarantee you like what the, what the stats say is about 200 people go into training every um like every time that they do it and only about 15 come out as navy seals so that tells you how hard it is right there and uh we're gonna actually do slash plot me auto i believe that's a command yep here we go um uh oh we need wood <laughs> that's awkward uh oh um slash warp wood Oh, that's a thing. All right. But where was I at? Oh, yeah. You can't do any of this training by yourself. You need it, all your brothers there with you. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to move on to the next uh, set of training, as you would, uh, as I guess I can call it. I need to, I'm need. i trying to, like, concentrate what I can get rid of. I'll just get rid of that. I'm not going to PvP very much on here. But uh, next part of training training is the... Uh, you can you have to go and do some uh, some skydive and stuff and it gets <laughs> this is like the fun part of training if i uh if i make it past budge which i plan on doing i do not plan on quitting because that's just something i don't have in me i'm not a quitter 
But um, when I make it past buds, when uh, well, I should probably talk about when I'm gonna start on doing all this. Uh, after high school, I don't plan on going to college. If I do, then I'm gonna go to the, uh, like the Navy College, or whatever, and uh, just see if I can get in there maybe. But if I don't go to college, my dad owns a business, and that's who I work for right now. And I'll work for him for three years. And then at 21, I'm going to go get LASIK eye surgery. Uh, I wear contacts right now. And you have to have, like, at least 20, 15, vid- like, vision or something to get in to uh, training or buds to become a Navy SEAL. So I have to go get LASIK eye surgery sometime after high school within, like, three years. Because at 21, that's that's when I want to enlist. Like, 21, right there. That's, that's, that's the age. I cannot wait to be that age to enlist and uh, serve my country. But uh, that's when uh, I'm going to go get LASIK eye surgery, and you can in, like fully enlist six months after that surgery so that your eyes have time to like settle down and you know be all good. Um, so that's when I plan on enlisting, I'll, right there. Um, but I was on the uh, skydiving part of training, and this, I cannot wait to do this, guys. I mean, if you don't at least, I, I'm, I'm terrified of heights, but I would love the skydive like holy shit you, <laughs> you have no idea i'm sorry for like my language in this episode i know i've said like two naughty words but um you know it's all right but i cannot that'd be so much fun especially doing that with like all your friends that you got out of budge training with which is basic under under basic underwater demolition seal training which is the like the hardest military training i was telling you guys about and you just go and jump out of airplanes with them for like a month to just get like used to doing that because sometimes in battle i guess you can you can be inserted that way and yeah and after that there's a uh, there's an optional course it's called advanced training i believe it's like a it's an advanced course where you can learn like all um what's it called like world languages you can learn hand-to-hand combat you can learn like uh, numerous things there's so many options in advanced training that you can do and you like if you don't go to advanced training it's kind of like weird but i mean you might as well go because like this whole training thing like all together takes about a year and a half to do at least two years maybe so you'll be in training for a while to say the least but um come on i kind of should have making another chest here Jeez, there we go but once you're out of training you uh Usually with the people that you made it out of buds with, you will form a unit or a SEAL team together and you will start training with each other and, you know, doing all that stuff to get ready for combat in whichever country you go and fight in or wherever you're assigned and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, that's really all it is to SEAL training. Um, after that, you are you live with the reward of being a Navy SEAL for the rest of your life. And uh, that's something that I would like to pride myself on if I'm able to do that. And uh, hopefully my son or someone that I have or <laughs> one of the kids I have will be able to follow my footsteps and maybe pride themselves on that as well. And am I am I even one two three four five one two three four? Okay, yeah, we're all good over there. Um, I need to try and concentrate a little bit more here. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for training. After that, you'll just go and just keep training with your uh, team, I guess. Um, I hope you guys and all like all enjoyed today's story. Go ahead and leave comments down below. If you guys have any other stories you want me to talk about or any of that stuff, I will definitely be sure to talk about that, guys. If you guys need any high school advice, I'm a junior right now, so if you need any high school advice, just let me know. Uh, If you're watching this video, high school is not very hard, guys. If you put little or minimal effort into it, you're fine. Um, High school is probably one of the easiest things and most fun things that you could probably do in your life. And uh, I like I like it. <laughs> but uh, once again, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video today on what I want to do with my life. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for all listening to that. It, probably, it may be a little boring for you guys. This is kind of a test video to see if you guys even like this series at all. Because um, if you do, we can just keep playing Prison on the HyperCloud uh, hyper, yeah, hyper server. And uh, I keep telling you guys some stories here and there. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, please like this video because... That's hard for me to talk about. Um, I've only told my dad about what I want to do Like whenever I get older. He's the only one that knows that I want to be a Navy SEAL. I haven't even told my mom yet because I feel like she's going to like break down and cry. But I don't know. It's my decision either way. Um, I need to tell her in the near future. Um, Whenever I do tell her, I will let you guys know how it goes because that's something that's really hard to tell your parents that you want to go in the military. And uh, for those of you that are planning on doing that or going in the military, armed forces, anything, which armed forces, military, same thing, whatever. 
um, you guys will know how hard it is as well on your parents and you to tell them. But uh, yeah, go ahead and leave a like just for my self-confidence because uh, that was hard to tell all you guys what I wanted to do. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys all later. Peace.